Hi, Young Living. Hi. How are you guys doing today? This is Leslie and Carla, and we're here to talk to you about our Savvy Foundation, tips and techniques, ways that we apply the foundation that makes our skin look fabulous. I don't think they know me yet, so I'm going to introduce myself. I've been part of the training team for a while now. I'm just usually in the Spanish side of things, but I, I really am pleased to be here talking about a little bit of what we do, right? Yes, and Carla joined our team from the research and development department, so she knows her stuff. She knows all about ingredients, and she has brought a wealth of information to the global training and education team. So let's jump right in. Um, if you are anywhere in this line of foundation like I am, then you probably feel me that you have struggled finding the right color and the right application to make sure that you stay vibrant. And mm -hmm. what I mean by that is when I use, I, my foundation color is dark three. And initially, when I put it on, I got this kind of dusty look. It was almost even ashy. It seemed to wash out my complexion as opposed to highlighting the natural vibrance that's there. Right. Now, right now, I'm not wearing any foundation. I'm just wearing mascara and eyeliner and some of the lip gloss, or, yeah, lip balm, sorry. <laughs> just the colorless lip balm. So I'm not wearing, this is my natural coloring. I've got a little bit of unevenness in what colors are where on my face, and that's totally natural, very common. So when I was mm -hmm. first transi transitioning to Savvy, um, I wasn't getting a whole lot of coverage, and I wasn't getting um, just that depth of color that I like. Mm -hmm. So, and that's that seems to be kind of common yes. feedback, right, in your market as well? Yes, I, uh, well, I'm from the Dominican Republic, so I, I struggle the same with Leslie. When I, I'm not wearing makeup, I have uneven tones, on, which is pretty common. Um, but because I'm not Caucasian, because I'm not um, African American or African, I have a mix of races that is even <laughs> harder it. like it's really hard to uh, find a color that would match and that's the case for a lot of Hispanics and a lot of the Americans so that's why we're here today we're going just yes. going to talk about um, what we do to get good color yes all right so the first concoction I'm going to talk to you guys about is this little gem right here and what this is is basically my own BB cream because that's the type of makeup I was using before we came out with Savvy and I love BB cream for a lot of reasons it's a multitasker but what I don't love about it is the toxic ingredients mm -hmm. in what I was getting from the drugstore so to make my own I used Sheer Lume love this stuff yes. one pump of Art Renewal Serum and then my foundation with, and guys, here is the game changer. I actually added some of the Savvy Blush color into my BB cream. And that prevents, that just kept the vibrance and the pop of color and the bold, rich look that I wanted intact without having it be like a dusty sort of finish. So Carla's going to put this on me. And if you've got a Savvy Blush at home or a you know, blush that you like, Try this mix out. If you've got all these ingredients at home, go ahead and try it out. Um, application, you can apply it with your fingers. That's what I usually do, just like a, the same way you do a sunscreen almost all over. Or, Carla's fabulous with this thing. This is the Savvy Foundation Brush. Yes, and I'm going to start applying, but um, we don't want to uh, tell you that you have to use the Shirley Lume and that you have to use the Zerum. We... We're showing you here what works for Leslie. Don't know if it works for me. Um, but if you use, say, the Art Light Moisturizer because you have a more of a greasy uh, complexion, that's fine too. Whatever you have at home that you can use uh, to make this kind of like liquidy foundation, it's perfect. Uh, Leslie added, like she said, the a little bit of the new Captivate blush in it because she feels like, and it's true, it gives her that little bit of a uh, 
reddish undertone that she naturally has. Now, if you have more of a, um, just, a just a side, um, if you have more of the uh, warmer undertones that don't look kind of reddish, reddish, they look more like goldish, it'll be fine to use um, the passionate blush. Whatever blush Or even a bronzer you. that you yeah. love yeah. is a great addition. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I asked Carla to just stop on side. this side so that you can see the difference. You see that there is some coverage. It's light coverage. It's, I'd say, somewhere between a liquid foundation and a tinted moisturizer. Yeah. And it's still, I retain the dewy sort of glow that I like I, because I don't usually go with a matte finish. Um, but you can see that it's got an even color. Yeah. As opposed to this side that's still mm -hmm. got some of those little blotchies going on. And so doing this all over, I love it. If you like a matte finish, then you can go ahead and do a dusting of your favorite foundation over it. But I would recommend that you either wet your fingertips with the misting spray or even just wash and dry your hands so they're just a little bit moist. And then just kind of do a quick rub pat. over. Yeah, pat. A quick pat in order to catch those little mineral particles to prevent you from coming out looking dusty. Yeah, and I feel like um, you can you can do building with this. You let it dry a little bit. If you feel like you need more coverage, you apply it all over again. Mm -hmm. Oh my so. gosh, I love this look. Like, yes. I hope you guys can see the difference. My camera, I'm not using an iPhone right now. So I hope you can see with this resolution the difference. Uh, between this side and this side. Do you want to finish the, the look or do you want to say? Yeah, I'll, I'll finish the look. So another trick that I use is this one is one of the new lipsticks that I absolutely love. It's called Bedazzle. Yes. And I love this one and I love Mic Drop, but... I'm wearing Mic Drop right now. So I love the vibrance of yes. this color. And I also use this as a blush. That's right, ladies, as a blush, because it's got, I don't know, it, again, it's not powder, so it has more of a dewy finish as opposed to um, a dusty finish. So it keeps it looking very fresh, mm -hmm. and I just pat some on with my fingers and then blend up and out. And that's a pretty quick look. Yeah. And I love multitasking, you know, like <laughs> why buy five things if you can buy one that does all five. So hopefully you can see the difference between this is my how I wake up side with a little bit of a wing. And then this is how I want to look before I come in for work. And so we were talking about this before we started the video. We know that mineral makeup is different, but it's worth uh, changing for many reasons. Your, your skin is going to love it. You'll love the feel of mineral makeup. I, I honestly um, started using Savvy Minerals, and because I was still learning, I didn't love it at first 100%. But as I started finding those things that worked for my skin and my tone, and like, oh my gosh, it actually looks like I'm not wearing makeup, but I am. Um, that And I started yeah. loving it. Mm -hmm. uh, makeup that we find in a drugstore, it's really different usually gives you that full coverage it drips it feels tacky <laughs> it slides south yeah. as the day goes on yes <laughs> and um once i ran out of my seven mineral foundation and i had the other one because i had just stopped using it i was like okay i'll just compromise for today i put it on guys and i had to wipe it off right away i did not feel good with it so i'm not telling you this um just because I want to sound like I love Savvy. No, I actually love Savvy. And so that day I came in without makeup and I went to the store and I got my foundation and then I applied it before I went on before I went on to do a video. So I definitely know, we both know. We both know. <laughs> that it's not it's um, a different it's a different feel because it's a different type mm -hmm. of product. 
similar to your other Young Living products that you yeah. know and love, the difference between a traditional cleaner that you get at the store yeah. and Thieves Cleaner, mm -hmm. there are some differences. Mm -hmm. And those are differences that you love once you get used to them, yeah. but before it can be a bit of a transition. Yes. But it, I agree with Carla 100% that it's worth acquiring the new skill set to apply savvy minerals effectively because the payoff in the long term is so much better for you. Okay, a little bit, talking a little bit of how I do and what colors work for me before we uh, run too long on this video. I pretty much um, have uneven skin tones, like I said. I am usually darker on the sides, lighter down here. Um, I blend warm two and warm three. And then I apply. I like to apply um, my moisturizer. I usually do Cher Le May. And then um, right before I apply it, I spray my face with the Mystic Spray. I just love the Mystic Spray. You have to That's use up. your Mystic Spray if you're not doing this application. Um, and then I apply. I blend on the lid. I blend the two. Just... 50-50 amounts. I blend it and then I like to finish my uh, look with contouring which I actually use Leslie's um, Dark 3 today to do my contouring before the video and I really like to have um, the option of just having a darker uh, darker foundation and doing the contouring then I apply a little bit of the bronzer if I have it at hand a little bit of the bronzer just to give it that little bit of a shine some people don't like the shine if you don't like the shine go with a darker um, foundation and do your contouring with that yeah. yeah so then a little bit of blush I love the new Captivate I I love the colors the new yeah, colors the are spring amazing colors are wonderful especially for us I know right <laughs> okay so good job young yeah. living thanks and I finished with mic drop right here love that color Thank you guys for joining us. We hope that you've learned something helpful. Please feel free to comment, post, and share in response to our video. And feel free to give us ideas, uh, mm -hmm. share your tips, techniques, and application that you do. See you soon. Bye.